Hey everybody, so this is going to be a real quick video. This is kind of a common question that pops up on the Klaviyo forums, and that is, how do I test my emails? How do I know everything's gonna work okay? How do I know it's gonna work correctly? How it looks like, you know, when it's actually sent into an inbox, because things can change. So I'm gonna run through three different scenarios on how you can test your emails. So first things first, let's say you have a campaign send. And you just want to test, like, how is this going to look like, you know, in my inbox? Is it going to look normal? Are things going to break? I just want to make sure it's going to look a-okay. So here's how you test. It's pretty darn simple. Let's say you have your email all ready to go. And in the template builder, you're going to come over to preview and test. And over in the preview and test, it'll usually show your uh, test profile here. But we're going to copy that and we're going to send ourselves a test. So up here, you can click send test, and then you can put in your recipients. So what's really cool is let's say at your company, you have multiple people who need to receive a test. You can just put in a little comma and then put in all the, you know, the other email addresses and everyone can get it on, you know, at once. You don't have to send individual tests. So let's go ahead and send that to our inbox and see what it looks like. All right, and I've opened it and it appeared in my inbox. A-OK, -okay, no issues. Testing links is a great time to just kind of test everything to make sure it's working. Um, you can also adjust this. So as you can see, it didn't really have an indicator for you know that it was a test email. Let me show you how you can change that. OK, so here I am in the account section under the email tab. And right here, I think it should always kind of have this but I put test or you can do what they recommend and put preview. But that way, when you send a test to all of your like, you know, your test group, they'll know it's a test because sometimes I'll send myself a test and come back to it later and I'll be like, oh my God, the emails went out and for some reason everything went wrong. No, as long as you have this prefix here before the subject line, this will help so much kind of alleviate some stress when you see that email in your inbox. All right, and the next test we wanna run is for our flows. So let's say you're in your flow and you're like, all right, I just wanna make sure who I want to enter this flow is going to enter this flow. So say for example, in this cart reminder one, I'm checking some filters here, making sure they haven't been in this flow in the last 10 days. And also they haven't placed an order recently. Just wanna make sure that that is rock solid. So what you can do over here is click preview trigger setup. And this is where you can filter through and make sure people match the flow filters or basically they meet all of your conditions. So let's scroll through. We may not find anybody who fails these, but just double checking, you know, I'm just making sure, okay, this person in particular, I can go to their profile, look at their information to validate, but they haven't placed an order since starting the flow, which they're probably not in the flow right now, right? has not been the flow in the last 10 days, check. And they haven't ordered recently, check. Okay, so we're just making sure and kind of testing without testing to make sure the right people are entering our flow. If you see somebody here and you're like, what? Wait a second, this isn't right. They shouldn't be in here. Then you know there's something wrong with your logic before you set it live. And then those people are entering regardless, right? So this is a great way to test it. Next, we wanna test the actual dynamic emails. Let's go into an email and run through some of that testing. Okay, so here we are in an abandoned cart email and we're putting things together. Maybe you're using the default template from Klaviyo. This one's a really simple abandoned cart email, um, pretty much just using the default builder as well. And we just want to make sure that this is going to work the way we want it to. So what you're going to do is come over to preview and test. And once you're in preview and test, you'll be able to see the dynamic information populate. If this is not working, then you know you have some issues, right? So for example, I just hovered over this. I can see that, you know, the links are working. I can see them kind of recovering or as far as like the links themselves being the recovery links, everything's working. You can kind of filter through and just like triple check. Is everything coming in the way we want it to? Um, is everyone's information coming in the way we want it to? And uh, if yes, if there's no issues, then we're good to go. If there is, then you got to work through and make some edits. And in case you didn't know this, you can test this email with the, uh, you know, actual person's data. So you can send yourself a test here 
and it will populate in your email as well so you can confirm that everything is working you know the way you want it to so this is another great way to kind of validate that the email is not breaking when it does send into someone's inbox before it actually goes out Okay, this was a really quick one, but hopefully that was helpful to know how to test not only uh, your flow filters, your flow messages, and your campaign emails. Hope this helps. Thanks.